Okay, so this is part two. Again, this video is not to offend anybody, but to explain to you what's going on here and why the idea of ideal is important, right? Idea and ideal. These are similar words for a reason. See, what's the big idea, right? What's the big ideal? Think about it. And of course, ideal is I lead, scramble. And this is key because, you know, the social order determines the order of the government. And millions of people are going to work and paying taxes. They're doing their part except for rallying for the true solution, right? For true solutions like my war on poverty plan and so on and so forth. You can ask about it in the comments. It's on other videos, okay? It's basically new affordable taxes and a very efficient spending, transparency, sites on the tiny home plans, logical and efficient food programs, the best and the brightest and the most honest, not the government because they keep spending ineffectively and Republicans keep saying there should be no programs at all and you know, or some kind of Republican waste of, of time program. And the Democrats keep spending foolishly and giving the Republicans more ammo uh, to shoot down the poor with and to shoot down the ideas. And this is happening again and again and again. Okay. So point number four. It is obvious that every other group that I have not mentioned is not ideal for their failure to face the new world order in a logical and uncontrolled manner. So of course, everyone, including the groups that I named, except for me, failed to face the new world order, right? Responsibility, responsibility. They're not taking care of their divine responsibility, their human responsibility to face evil with good, not with controlled opposition, which is just another form of evil, right? They're just gathering for the devil and confusing the, the issue. If you claim to be good, right, beware of wolves and sheep's clothes, right? If you claim to be good while you're doing evil, you're arguably worse than the... Um, the people who are just evil who don't claim to be good because they're preventing the, the solution, right? Okay. And chances are they identified it, right? Early identification, right? Prevention and intervention. Except for they're doing it on behalf of evil to make sure evil continues instead of doing it for good, right? Okay. Point number five. Nine million people, including three million children, starve to death a year because the order is wrong. Okay. This is key here. So what are the consequences? Well, they say, well, it's not a big deal. So what? You know, these other governments are more corrupt and da-da-da, and every government thinks that, and argues that the other governments are more corrupt and so on and so forth. Okay, but 9 million people are starving to death and dying of heart-related issues a year, including 3 million children. Okay, and there's other preventable deaths that are occurring. Millions of them. Point number six. And there's rapes and all this other stuff, exploitation, poisoning, what have you. Their brain function and activity is impaired from generations of playing stupid and ill-gotten games. What are they creating and generating, right? Generations, right? What are they generating? What are they forging, right? The word forge is supposed to be a play on words for for God, but they're actually doing it for the devil, for good, forge, for the better, right? Moral evolution, right? Evil you shun, right? Evolution, okay? It's a play on words. And if you have any questions about that, put in the comments. I'll just leave it here, okay? Okay. 